Hello guys, welcome back to Zorpo and welcome to uh, the fourth uh, weapon guide uh, of the series. This is the weapon guide for the P250. Uh, so as per usual, we're going to be uh, obviously starting off with the stats for the weapon. Uh, on unarmored opponent, it does 138 damage to the head, 34 damage to the chest and the arm, 43 to the stomach and 26 to the leg. Um, on a armored opponent, it does 107 damage to the head, uh, that's a headshot, uh, 26 damage to the chest and the arm, 33 damage to the stomach, and 26 damage to the leg. Uh, the spray pan for this gun is, as you can tell, it is quite freaking mental. Uh, pretty much only the first two shots, I guess you could say, landed on target, the rest was just foobar. Uh, so, to control it, you can't even pull down on it, like, it, it, it's got such a random uh, spray pattern that it just goes all over the place. So, uh, the best way, uh, what I found is to hum the tune to Staying Alive by the Bee Gees, um, and that'll pretty much get your shot to land pretty much on target. Okay, so the advantage to this gun is that it has a one-hit kill, even on armoured opponents, which is ridiculously good for a pistol. Uh, also, the price to damage ratio on it, especially for the... F uh, it's $300, which is the cheapest pistol uh, you can actually, like, you know, buy, uh, apart from the starting pistols, which you really buy. Uh, as such, it's got a mental price to damage ratio, uh, especially about the fact that um, it deals a one-hit kill headshot. Also, uh, it's got uh, better damage against armor uh, than the USP, uh, P2000, uh, uh, the Glock, and the Tech 9. So, uh, this is a really, really good um, pistol for damage. Uh, but there are, of course, some disadvantages. Uh, it's not too good at uh, medium to high range. This is both because of the uh, damage drop-off and its... Uh, inaccuracy. It's also got a lower first shot accuracy than the Glock 18 and the P2000. Uh, so, you know, further away it's a little bit harder to hit a target. You know, that's when your shots really start to spread out a little bit. Uh, and spraying with it is inaccurate as hell, as you saw earlier. So, uh, the situations in which when to use this gun are obviously eco rounds when you use the first round or generally when you don't have much money. Uh, just buy this gun and try and hurt the enemy's economy uh, a little bit. Try and also pick up a primary gun to, uh, to use for the upcoming rounds. Also, never buy this gun on a pistol round. There is no point. All the primary starting pistols um, in the game deal headshots against unarmored opponents, which is essentially all that you need because you can't buy a helmet during the start um, of the game. Uh, so there's no point for you to buy this gun. It does a little bit more damage against armor on a body shot, but not enough uh, for you to bother picking this over some armor. Also, it's a good sidearm uh, in general when you're buying up completely, you know, when you're buying up armor, a primary um, rifle of some sort, um, this is a great uh, sidearm to have, just, it's it's a great all-rounder pistol and you should definitely use it. So, the most important part of the video now, uh, how to use it. Um, as I mentioned earlier, try and hum the uh, tune Singing Alive by the Bee Gees uh, when you're at sort of medium range because that will give you um, decent enough accuracy. Um, to maintain at uh, medium range. Uh, when you're at short range, you can sort of afford to go a little bit faster because your your target's obviously going to be closer to you. Um, also, never spray with it, and uh, not even at a close distance because when you're at a close distance, it will still throw your aim off completely, and it will take you a little bit of time to recover, which is something you can't do. Uh, if you've got a pistol and your enemy has completely bought up. Um, try and get closer to your enemy because this gun is a lot more effective at a short distance, even at a medium distance. If you're, for instance, pushing up long um, and your enemy's over there, try and sort of, you know, hug the wall or something and try and get as close as you possibly can to them before engaging. Also, um, this is probably the best gun to... Uh, start sh tap shooting with, uh, strafe shooting with, because, um, for instance, just 
sort of uh, try strafing left and right, and in between the uh, pauses, you shoot because that will ensure that you're not being hit if your enemy have like rifles and stuff, uh, and it will also maintain your accuracy because you're not firing as fast, you're not spraying. So that's a good way to uh, teach yourself not to uh, fire really fast. So uh, to wrap this up. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and um, sorry that I haven't re-uploaded a lot. I'll try and uh, keep up the schedule. And thank you for watching. I will see you all, uh, hopefully sometime soon. Bye-bye.